this place is just magic. It's just what keeps me coming back. I've been going for 12 years now and every year becomes a challenge. There's always something that goes wrong. But it's all worthwhile. Tomorrow we get a chance to go out and target some big fish. It's kind of hard to put it in words. It really needs to be seen to be believed. Just the excitement you get when you know that you're going to be fishing arguably the best place in the world. It's sort of indescribable, I suppose. I get goosebumps thinking about it a little bit. It's crazy. I'm here with a couple of the best mates. I'm here with my old man. I'm here with his mate that I grew up with fishing when I first started when I was two and three years old. The real truth of it for me is that I can't think about anything else from one year to the next. I've known Jonesy since I was about 15 or 16 year old. He was a bit, a bit of a mentor to me in the younger days when we were playing footy. Um, Benny, well, I went to his head there with his old man when he was born. So I've known him for his whole life and, and we've had a lot of good times. Put the boats in the water tomorrow morning. Head about 30 k's offshore. Go and hit the outer reef. Throw a few lures around and hopefully we come up trumps. You sort of got to pinch yourself that you're doing it again because you just don't know what's going to happen. As soon as you set foot on the cave, all those feelings just come back from the last trip. Some of the feelings I've got out here are like none other. It's, it's amazing. It's the best joint ever. For anyone that knows Benny, they just know that he loves big fish. That's his thing, is big fish, putting himself up to the physical test. And every time we fish together, one thing keeps coming up, and that's dog tooth tuna. Like I still haven't got a doggy yet, but I've seen him caught. I've watched plenty of video, and I've seen my best mate catch one as well. You can tell in his voice that he just can't wait to land one. That's the pinnacle for him right now. So to have that as a goal for the trip and know that it's a real, real possibility, that makes me nervous and excited at the same time. I went to a little spot, a, a corner of the reef that I know, know, I know it drops off there and then it comes back up a little bit into a pinnacle. And, yeah, we, we sounded up a, a few fish and I, I popped down the 250 gram jig, started to jig it up. I got to about a, a quarter off the bottom and I felt a bump. I just know that the head shakes on that thing was, it, it had to be a doggy. It started the head shaking, head shaking. It knew it was hooked. And then all of a sudden, the reel started screaming what felt like Five minutes of real screaming, but it was only three to four seconds, and then it was all over. He's 
there's not much you can do about it. Just lick your wounds, get back up, tackle back up and uh, go again. That's Robbo's fish, not mine. He's put a big effort in for this fish. We've backed up, we've fought, I've just done all sorts of stuff to try and lose it with the motor. And uh, he buried himself in, you can see all the marks up beside him. The stacks of marks have just been deep in the deep in there. Like you can see how far he's in. Robbo's jumped in and made the effort. You, you could spend six months out here and you'd figure out a bit more. It's like that sort of place you could spend so much time here doing different things. Oh! Yesterday sort of showed that with some tr big trout that we saw. Some landed, some not landed because they just couldn't be stopped. It was just, yeah, epic, man. I just, yeah, unbelievable. I hooked another big fish on a sinking stick and just didn't know what it was, but gave it everything I had. When it come up next to the boat, PB trout, it was proper dino trout. Yeah, that made my trip. There's one fish and it's just, just like that, boom. All that effort is worth it. It's just, it's perfect, awesome. Yellowfin caught nice and fresh today. Wasabi, soy sauce, spot on. The other thing we're going to do today is we're going to uh, pop ourselves up in the in the blue holes. It's, it's so exciting. There's bombies. There's absolute pristine blue-looking water, and we know there's going to be fish there. It's just a matter of catching them and, and landing those fish. You know, that's one on my bucket list that I've always wanted to do is pop up in these blue holes, and today that goal will be reached. Oh. Oh, big trout, big trout. No, oh, yellow lip, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow lip, oh, we're on. Oh, and red bass. Oh, yellow lip. Oh, that's solid, oh. Good fish to start the morning. And red bass coming up behind him, really wanting that lure. into it and see what happens. Oh, yeah, oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh, no, it's not that big. I don't think it will be a trout. Oh, man, it's a big trout. When you're out here, that's the thing in the back of your head. There's just so many species. It could be anything. End of another great day on the Great Barrier Reef. Gonna go enjoy some trout. What a day. Cape York, Queensland, there's nothing like it. I come here once a year, 
and then all we'll do is uh, dream about it all year. It's just one of those spectacular places that not a whole heap of people go to and get to, but when you get here, it's, um, yeah, it's certainly, certainly a one of a kind sort of place. The fishing is spectacular. Um, the scenery is just unbelievable. We've got a beautiful sunset. We've got a full moon coming up behind me. Sitting out on a little cold cay and enjoying a beer. About to knock up a bit of cold trout that we caught earlier on. And then uh, sit back and just uh, think about the day that we've just had. It's been unbelievable. So that's what Cape York is. Unbelievable.